Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dylan Ray again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be playing with Visual Effects Craft and specifically by using HDRP in a lot of particles. So I'm going to show you how to do this effect and then also as well as this other effect which is going to be a variation on color of the effects that I showed you before or making a flame in something that looks like fire. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right guys, so this is what I'm gonna be showing you in a scene that I already created previously that shows you the fire or flame. I know a lot of people mentioned that this doesn't look like fire, but I think it's, you know, it's as close as I can get to, to that look. I, I really enjoy how it looks and I'm going to be showing you how to apply different variations of this by modifying the graph. So right now I have four different scenes in this repository. It's called Unity VFX Millions of Particles. I got it in GitHub, so you can check it out and I'm gonna be putting that in the description of this video. So this one is the fire effect scene. So if we go into the fire collision scene, you're gonna see that there's a little collider. It's, there's actually a sphere collider around here because I wanted to see how the particles were traversed if the collider was going to be you know strong enough and this was going to be fast enough to be able to collide with millions of particles so what i can do here and i can show you that is i can go into the hierarchy select the far collision effect double click on the graph so that i can open the proper graph looks like i have that one already selected and then what unity has provided is a way for us to modify and, and basically change colliders in runtime so the way that that works, and I'm going to be showing you a little bit more about this, is you can select the node and then also the object that has, you know, that has the particles rendering. So if I go here, select the far collision effect, go back into my scene, and then they have this target game object. We can, we can attach it. And what I can do, let me go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this right here on the right so that we can see the attach. There we go you have to have it selected before you can select the the object that is targeted by the visual effects and then what we can see now that i select this collide with a sphere we can see that there's a sphere and then it's running in runtime i can you know i can collide with the particles i can collide with all particles by just moving the transformation handles and i can also you know if i wanted to resize this and then we only want to you know collide with just a smaller sphere we can do that and you can see how that is affecting the particles and actually gives it a really cool look. So you can animate this if you wanted to, to give it a different look. You can animate the scale if you wanted to do something like this because there's just a lot of fire and it's just, you know, it's infinite, the amount of use cases that you can use for this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and undo until we get back to, to the look that we had. And there we go. So what I wanna show you, so that's one scene and let me go ahead and show you so i show you the far collision scene also the far effect scene let me go ahead and change this to smaller so that we can see it better so i show you these two and then if we go into the sun effect this is one that has tons of particle as well and i wanted to create something that looked like a sun a little bit more like fire so this gives you you know this gives you that look of course it doesn't look perfect but you get the idea of what you can do with something like this and then the sun movement effect it's something that I wanted to create to, you know, with more motion, more particles just flying around, and you can see how the particles are, you know, are flying out, out in a space, and then they're kind of coming in, and then coming out. So those are some of those effects. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how we can apply variations of these effects in, in actually no time. It's actually gonna be pretty, pretty easy. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the far collision effect. And then I want to make more of a of a sci five type of effect. We're going to be using some blue color and some really strong colors that I'm going to make these stand out even more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say fire blue. And for some reason, I just have a passion with blue. I really like blue colors and that those type of colors. So the other thing that I'm going to do here as well, now that I created that new scene, I'm going to also rename the object that is in the hierarchy. And I'm also going to go back into the inspector and make sure that I clone the visual effect itself. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see the previous one, and I want you to be able to see all of them. So I'm just duplicating everything so that the previous objects are intact. 
All right, so now let's go back into, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna move these down here, so that we have, we have everything. I really want the game view to be the main view, the graph to be like 40% of that whole thing, and then, you know, probably this is 30, this is probably 20, and then the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna associate it with the new far blue collisions effect. There we go. Now we can just open up the new graph and give it a second here or two until it recompiles okay there we go so now this is tied to this new graph which is a clone of the other one that i already had so we're going to be what i'm going to be doing here is i'm going to be playing with the colors and then we can play with some of the physics and there we go okay awesome so i have a lot of things going on in here i have a it looks like yeah most of these ones are already so I could change the blend here, and you can see how that it's going to affect how strong those particle colors come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo it. We want it to do it all the way, we could do it all the way. And then I have this color that basically blends with the other colors that we already had. So what I'm gonna be focusing on right now is gonna be the gradient that I have assigned. And we're gonna go ahead and click it, and we're gonna see what we can get by making so, some of these changes. So. If I change this color here, you're gonna see that I'm getting, I'm gonna get some variations. And we're gonna make it, we're gonna be, I want to make it a little bit of a, give it a little bit of a blue. And that doesn't look right just yet, but it will. And then I'll do the same thing here. Something like that works. And then let me see if I can make it come out a little bit more. And then we're gonna do the end as well with that blue color. And so far we don't really see that many changes, but just hang in there. It's going to look it's going to look better. And then if we look at the add color by speed, we can also we can also modify this one. So I don't know if this one is affecting it as much, but the way that it works is based on the speed the colors are assigned. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change all of these ones to blue as well. And you can see that it's it's basically making changes, but they're not as as big changes just yet. And then lastly, let's go ahead and modify this one. This is gonna give it most of the, you know, most of the string of the color because this is a blank color with a blend and it has a really high value. So let me see what I can get here. So we can probably just do something like that. If we don't want it to go to be too strong, we can do we can do that. And I think I'm gonna go, let's go ahead and do two here, two and two, just to keep those values consistent. I think X Let's do X on a high value, and then we can go high here. There we go. And we can go into the scene view and just look and see how the particles get regenerated, which I think is just a really cool effect. Just looking how the particles get regenerated. If you wanted to see that again, you can just click on compile, and it's gonna recompile the particle system, and you can see how the particles start, the collision is going to start, and then they're basically going across so this one also has a collider, so I can show you that by clicking on the object on the hierarchy and then clicking on attach, and then we can find the collider. And I can change the collider here because this is gonna be a variation of the other one. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit, and there we go. Let me see where, oh, okay, here we go. It's in the update particle node, so there we go. And, and we have multiple colliders. If I wanted to do a different variation of this, we can we can go ahead and just remove this node. And the way that you add nodes, you can click in here and it's actually space. So what I normally do is just select one of these and then hit space where I wanted to show after. And then we can look in here for collision. So let me just show you how the particles look without collision. So this is how the fire looked like in the first scene that I show you. So if I wanted to add collision, we have multiple different options we can do an AA box we can use a cylinder we can use a depth buffer a plane a sign distance field and also a sphere so i think for this one i'm just going to use a box and let's see what that kind of gives us so you can see how that it just gives us a completely different look and the reason for that is because if i select the collider you can see that i'm colliding with most of those particles so i could go up and we can you can see how that just gives it a different look it's more of a fine line, and, and I think that's because of where the camera is. So I can go make this a little smaller, and we go, and we can probably just go up a little bit, 
I can collide right here. Oh, there we go. I need to I need to make sure that I'm on the right on the right angle. If we go here, you can see how that it's colliding. We can make it bigger, and we can also change the elasticity. So if we wanted to change the elasticity, you can see how that bounces, and I can also change the friction. You can see how the friction is just giving giving it a really crazy look. And let me see if I can if I can lower the friction. Let's go ahead and lower the friction a little bit more, and then we can increment the lifetime loss. You can see the lifetime loss is going to basically kill the kill the particles as soon as they hit the collider because the number is pretty high. So you can see how that into oops, let me go back into the scene. I'm actually going to make this a little smaller so they so you can see. So if I wanted to do something like this and animate this, I could do that as well by just changing the location of that box. So we can animate it as well if we wanted to. So I'm actually, actually let me see how that looks if I were to animate this and move it up and down. I don't, I don't think I like that to be honest. I think it's, but you could do that. I mean, it depends on the effect that you're trying to achieve. But if I wanted to lower this and just have the particles still have some strain in life, you can do that as well. You can see how that. So I'm gonna do, go ahead and remove this this collider. I don't like how it looks right now. And I'm gonna try, let's go ahead and try a different one. So I'm gonna go into collisions and we can do a cylinder and see what that gives us. So that gives us a really cool look. And let me go ahead and select this and I'm gonna go a little bit smaller. And we can do, what about fl going flat? So flat is gonna give us the same, you know, similar look to what we had. But if we do something like that, you can see how we're making, all of a sudden we made a very wide, very white flame. So I could go a little bit smaller, maybe like so. There we go. And then we could probably just change the intensity or even the particle size is gonna give it, is gonna tell it to go, to come out more. I think that gives it a cool look. And let me do the blend. So if we do the blend like this, Okay, let me make that a little bit smaller, the actual collider. And there we go. We can probably just bring it down. Okay, so that, that's just a different variation of what we had. And let me just make it a little bigger. There we go, so we can wider the bottom, the bottom area even more. Okay. So let's see what else we can play with by before we before we create another effect. So we can also play with the turbulence. So if we go here and look at the turbulence node, right now I have the mode set to relative and perlin. If you change it to value, it's gonna use a different algorithm. You're gonna see that the particles will look a little bit different. Not as much, but you'll see you'll see differences in the way that the turbulence get applied. So it's a little bit more refined. I'm gonna use Perlin. I think Perlin it's the look that I that like that I like the best. You can see how much variation we get in there. We can also change the the drag. And as we change the drag, you're gonna see effects is looking more like fire. Now we have a wider, basically a wider flame. Let me go ahead and the, change the frequency. So if we change the frequency, we're gonna get just more, yeah, just just a different look. Let me go ahead and go lower and see what we get. So I'm just gonna go ahead and undo. I think we I think what we had was cool. And frequency, yeah, frequency just shakes it even more. And we can do we can bring this in. So if you bring the drag down, the flame is gonna go thinner because it's the physics engine, it's basically incrementing the drag. So I'm going to, so the particles are gonna be, are gonna be dragged more by the, by the physics engine. So we can do something like that. What if we do 12? What if we do 15? I think that looks cool. I wanted something different, so I think that, what about the intensity? Let's see how the intensity is affecting it. What if we just make the intensity very, very low? So I'm gonna keep it at that. The roughness as well, it's going to it's going to make some changes in the lucrinarity. So I just normally just play with some of these some of these and then until I'm happy with the effect that we have. 
So I think that looks cool. And the last thing that we can do is just this comfort to a sphere is we can change the we can change the radius of the sphere. There's actually a sphere that is getting there we go. So we're getting a little bit more roundness and this is just shaking. So I think I'm good with that one. And let's go ahead and go back in here. And I think when I did this, the the particles I was assigning the comfort to sphere to run node. So make sure that you put it in the update. And then also the position here on the sphere is going to change the bottom area. So you can see that if I make it bigger, we're going to get a different variation of that. Because now we're getting a bigger sphere. So if we go a little bit, we can go a little bit smaller. We're going to be, we're going to get a little bit of more fine lines on the bottom there. We can also change the angle. And so I think I'm going to go back to what we had. I think that had a cool look. So we can do, let's do point 0.2. I think point 0.2 works fine. And I think I'm going to call that good. I think we got, we just got a really cool effect with a different color. And let's go ahead and create one more. So what I'm going to do is, I already have this other scene, so I'm just going to duplicate this one, just like I did before. What if we do a red color? Let's just do a red effect. So I'm going to double click here, and we can go into my visual effects. Let me just make this bigger so you can see it. And then I'm just going to clone the blue, and this one is going to be red. So I hardly start from scratch, and, and the only time when I start from scratch is if I'm starting a new project. For the most part, I just play with the with the effects. Okay, so I'm just going to double click it to open up the graph. And then we are in the fire red collision effect. I also need to rename the, the object that is in the hierarchy. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And red. And let's see if we can create a really cool effect. And now that the other one wasn't cool, it's just I want another one that stands out even more. Okay, so if we look at, let's go ahead and modify the colors first. I think the colors are really important to start with. And let's go ahead and change the, so we can change the blend here. And let's go ahead and go to red. And I'll do the same thing on he, on this one. We'll just do a red color. We'll do red at the end as well. And we'll do red in the beginning as well. Okay, I think we, we're still not quite right. And this one, there we go. So these are blending the different colors. That's why this color is different, is because it's blending some of the colors that we have set in here. So we need to change these colors. So these are gonna be all, so there we go. That's what I was looking for, something stronger. And I don't wanna create a new, I don't wanna create a new pin, but instead I want to just change the ones I already have. That just looks really cool. And then this one as well. And then in the beginning, it looks like we're getting a little bit of purple type color because of this. Okay, so I want to, so this one looks similar to the other one that I had originally, but we can, we can change it a little bit more here. Okay, so I think that works fine. The particles are just too big. Let me make sure that I'm using a positive number on this one. Okay, and we can go back down here. Let's go ahead and change something like that. Okay, excellent. And then I can change the blend if I wanted to here and just change the, can also do that one on, on this one. Can also modify the Z, which is not giving us a lot of, a lot of functionality. All right, so I think, I think I'm okay with the, with the colors for now. We can play with some of the intensity here. Let's change the intensity to be a little bit more fine. And one of these ones was animated. I think it was this one. I Let me go ahead and remove that. And that's because I was animating the attraction force. I think that's the one that I had. But if I change the attraction force in here, we can get some different looks. You can see that's like big flame and we can change the speed if we want it to be more more of a ball and do more like something like that i think looks cool and and there's no perfect you know to be honest there's nothing 
that we're going to be doing perfect but I'm just looking for a different style I think that looks cool and let's see if we do the radius so one thing that we can do is we could remove this comfort to sphere node and we can add a different node and let's go ahead and click a space here and we can do the position actually let's search for comfort so you can do a comfort to sign distance field we can do a comfort to sphere which is what we did let's look at force and see what we have in there we can do a linear drag as well and we can do use particle size so this is just a linear so we just change the drag coefficient so I don't like how that looks so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it and we have the collider in here we can we can also remove okay let me see what we can get here on the position so if we want to do lines we can change this to you know to be lines so what if we change this as well let's go ahead and change the position here and do so there's different uh, different objects that we can do we can do a line which also gives us a really cool look and, and that actually is pretty cool so we we could probably just play with that and you can change how wide the line it's going to be so we can do something like that we can also change the value of y maybe we just do a wall let me go ahead and look at the camera and see the rotation of this subject so I think I have just looking and see where the rotation is happening because let's see so this is the turbulence here I am also changing oh there we go if we change the vector force it's gonna be more like flames we can also make it really fine if we go ahead and look in here so one thing that we can do is we go into the camera so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rotate him for now and see what kind of kind of a look we get on the camera okay so I'm looking for something closer let's bring it closer to the camera and then oh, what I can actually do is let's see let me go ahead get closer there we go and then we can just select the camera and then go into our game object align with view and we're going to be able to see we can probably just get a little closer game object align with view there we go now we can just go ahead and put it right there okay so i wanted to get a really cool look of the we can probably zoom out change the field of view a little bit looks like it's not letting us because we are in hdrp so instead I'm gonna zoom out in here just a tiny bit and then go ahead and go ahead and click on align with view again okay perfect that's that's what I was looking for so if we change the the vector intensity that I have assigned here we're going to be getting different styles so I think that looks really cool so we can do something like that this is gonna tell it how much the size is gonna be and we can probably just do <laughs> that that's really cool we could actually what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go into the the node and I'm gonna search for period total time I like to play with that node a lot so look at look at this if we go so right now we're at eight we're at 19.81 so if I were to go down you're gonna see how the particles are gonna start looking like fire so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one here and we can, we can go to 20 over, we can just say over 10 seconds. And then we're going to assign that to the intensity. And let's see what we get. So we're going over 10 seconds. We're getting, you know, fine particles. And then this is just basically going up. And 10 seconds again, it's going to get, you know, destroyed. So there's just a lot of cool things that we can do with with this. Let me see if I can get a bigger a bigger position positioning on the line so that it stands out even more. And we can go wider right there. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Excellent. And let me see. 
So I'm just gonna make one more change and I think I'm gonna call it good. And let me see if the drag, if I change the intensity, okay. So I think the intensity is perfect. Let's just do it, let's do it a little bit less. There we go, so we're gonna get something like that. And the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little closer look of the particles. So I'm gonna select the camera again, go into game object, align with view. Okay, let me go ahead and go down a tiny bit more. Select the camera, game object, and I could probably press the, you know, the command here, but I didn't remember what it was. There we go. So, so that basically covers the effects that I wanted to do with you. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about anything that I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.